Hey guys, Steve North Country Forge. Um, did my hairpin live stream last night, first one. I figured I would uh, try and get a better angle and actually forge on. Uh, somebody said last night that they hadn't seen a four hairpin made, so I'll do one for you. Quarter inch by eight inch, quarter inch by four inch. Let's get them in the fire. Okay, I'm starting with the eight inch piece. Forge tape around the end. Typical square around octagon. I like a nice long taper because you're going to put a uh, little rat tail on it. heat on it. Just go until you're happy with her. Let's do the other side. Same thing on the other side. Put your little rat tail on the first side. Side one. Put your rat tail on opposite sides. Now you should have something, something like that if you can see it. All right, put that aside. Let's heat up that four-inch piece. Okay, I'm going to do a nice long taper on this side, just like we did the first, just like we did on the hair thin section. And don't hit your anvil. I have a tendency to make too sharp of a taper for this end. Just careful. Just 
somebody could uh, cook themselves with it. You see, it's a uh, self defense weapon. Your hair will look phenomenal. It would kill. Rounding it up. Don't stare into your forge because then you can't see nothing. There's the first side. Switch her over. This side you can put a square paper on. Get a nice long point for your rat tail. sure it's nice and square. I'm going to put a rat tail on this. For this one, I like to do the rat tail on the diamond. I think it gives it a nice shape. So I use my scrolling tongs for that. AKA needle nose. Have to use all your heat. Back for another one. Can't see anything. Don't know if you can see it or not. Put a focus. Probably not. Yeah, you get the point. I think it gives it a nice look on the diamond like that. Okay. Next step is to square it up. Okay, let's get her out of the fire. And the square side where your rat tail is. Start to square it up. For another heat if you need it. Sends a little bit narrow, so I'm going to try and fix that. Fix your paper if you need to. And squish down the tongs. Drop forge it a couple times if you need to. Same with your hammer.
finish it up. We're going to twist this so you still got time to get a good and straight afterwards. When we come back, we'll be at the vise and we'll do the uh, clip portion of the hairpin. For this, I use my homemade jig with uh, 15 sixteenths or 24 millimeter socket. Sorry if this is hard to see. Pull off your rat tail. Put it in your jig. You could do all this over the horn of the anvil, but nobody's perfect, and I think they look better when you get a nice perfect scroll on them. Especially if you're trying to sell them for some, sell them to somebody. I send them to the farmers market every week. So, and they sell like crazy, 20 bucks easy. Same thing, pull off the rat tail. Put it in the jig. Scroll it all the way around. The other side will open up, but there's plenty of time to uh, do an adjustment. Set that aside and we'll heat up our four inch piece. We're in the vise, about uh, halfway or so. I find this little crescent wrench works good for these small quarter inch twists, or small quarter inch bars. Heat up the other side. Alright, try not to burn your ends off. Place it in the jig up to the last part of your first twist. I like to give these a reverse twist. I think they look really, really schnazzy. But you could do anything you wanted to. I guess somebody handy with a chisel could probably do it a Rub Rubik's twist or something. A little more work than I want to put into them for 20 bucks. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. it should be. I'll get some better light. Sorry about that. Not the ideal setup. Alright. When we come back we'll be at the anvil. Alright. Flat side of the hammer. 
you're just going to start flattening, flattening your S hook out. Give it a shot from both sides. Doesn't have to be super thin. Just enough so it's still got the rounded edge. Heat her up and do the same on the other side. thing, flat side of your hammer, and keep your hammer marks out of it as best as you can. flat but it's not square. Keep those rounded edges. I'm going to give it a heat and I'm going to stick it back in my jig and just tighten these ends up a little bit. They don't have to be tight. You can leave as much of the space as you want. I just like them in a little bit closer together. Sorry if you can't see this. You don't have to have it super hot to do this. Just gotta move it just a little bit. Just play with it until you get it right. the hot part of your tongs. There we are. Alright, we'll be back at the anvil when I come back. Doesn't have to be super hot. Soft face hammer over the horn of your anvil. Switch sides. Get a little more heat. Sometimes they don't cooperate. Drop forge it again. up your rat tails. You can see this. So you want a decent arch in it. The more of an arch you have, the better it is for thicker hair. If somebody has thin hair, you can flatten it out a bit. Gonna slide through just like that. I'll take pin portion and get a heat on it again. We're gonna flatten it out. This doesn't have to be super hot. 
basically just planishing it more or less. Soft face hammer. Find your arch. Couple wax. You can also straighten it in the voice if you got some uh, if you got a soft face for your voice or soft jaws or whatever you want to say. Fix your pen if you need to or your uh, taper. Not too awful bad. All right. When I come back, I'll uh, have her cleaned up and uh, ready to show you. Alright, so we're back at the anvil. Well, my ass is on the anvil, but here we are. One hairpin. Super easy. Sure to get you $20. At a market of some sort. Like I said I uh, sold these all day long. So all day long when I did the uh, Woodsman's Field days, I sold these at market almost every week. That's it. The space in it. This one will be good for thick hair. I said if you. Uh, if somebody with thinner hair, all you have to do is throw it on the anvil, flatten it out. You could even do it probably cold. Just throw your finish on it. Good. I make another style that has a leaf on each end instead of the rat tail. And those are really popular too. I'll see if I can find a picture of it and uh, post it on the video. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, throw it a like, throw it a comment, give it a dislike or a bad comment. It's all good to me. Just hope uh, you know maybe I've inspired some of you to make something like this, or uh, just help the new smith figure out how to make it. They're super simple. It's got all your basics in it. Oh. Try it over the horn of the anvil instead of using a jig. Good skill builder. Alright. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.